Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about T.I. Now, T.I. says uh, during the interview, he said um, he goes to the gynecologist with his 18-year-old daughter every year to make no, sure no, 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 she's no, still no, a virgin. No. He said he'd been going with her since she was 16. S- s- 16. Since she was 16. She's 18 now. I don't think that she needs him to go with her him anymore. She's not a minor. Well, let's play the audio. We have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh. We'll sit down and then the doctor will come and talk. And, you know, the doctor is maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. Then they come and say, okay, uh, I just want you to know there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Bike riding, other forms of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? No. I say, look, dog. No. She's not. She don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bikes. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. So what are your thoughts? 800-585-1051. Let's start with you, Yee. Well, of course, everybody should know this, but having your hymen broken, not broken, that has nothing to do with your virginity. You can have your hymen intact and have had sex and you can have your hymen broken and still be a virgin. And I think women should be able to control their own bodies. If she decides that she wants to have sex, then she should be able to do that without somebody interfering with her and telling her what she can and can't be doing. The other issue I had was he said he doesn't do this with his sons. Right, so it's okay for his son to do that and not, and not micromanage their your sex son's lives. Go to the gynecologist. Right, but he doesn't also pressure them about not having sex. And he said that when he was asked about it in the interview, uh, what he said, I will definitely feel different about a boy than I will about a girl. And he does not give the same level of scrutiny to his sons when it comes to their sexual activity. So to me, that's treating people like, of course, there's a double standard there. But you should be able to educate and have conversations with your children. Who, and she's 18 years old, even well, no, from when she the, was 16. At the, at the time she was doing it, when she was, he was, she was, he was Right, she was when 16. she was 16, you should be able to have those conversations where you talk to your daughter about sex and sexual decisions that you want to make and what you decide to do with your body. Nobody else should be in control of what you do with your body. All right, what do you, what do you think, Charlemagne? Uh, I mean, I think it's a few things, man. I said, num- uh, number one, what T.I. shouldn't have done is share his family business with these digital D-heads because now you're opening yourself up to a bunch of people having an opinion on you and your family and family business should be kept within the family. That's number one, right? But number two, we all know that, you know, uh, we have fathers who aren't in their kids' lives at all, so we give them hell for that. So I'm not going to be upset at a father for being overprotective because that's what this is, right? It's a classic example of a father being overprotective, right. you know? And, and and number three, you know, I have been doing a lot of work on myself. I go to therapy, but also have a spiritual advisor, a sacred purpose coach, and we discuss things like sacred masculine and divine feminine. And to me, this is a prime example of your internal sacred masculine and divine feminine energies being out of balance. See, T.I. sacred masculine energy is looking like toxic masculine energy because there's no balance, right? Because the masculine qualities T.I. is displaying here are logic and reason and action and being firm, and I would even say survival, but those qualities need to be balanced with the divine feminine qualities of nurturing, being gentle, emotional, and probably patience, because I don't think T.I. was wrong. I just think it needs to be a balance of both the sacred masculine and divine feminine, and that's just something that we all need to explore more of. Well, I would say this. Uh, T.I. has the right to raise his daughter how he wants to raise his daughter. He is a father, and he is being protective. Mm -hmm. I do go to the doctor with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't ask uh, the doctor if a hymen was broken. Um, but I do go, and there's times where they, where my daughter has to fill out the information to find out what's going on in my daughter's life. And yes, I am in my daughter's life, and yes, I will tell her don't have sex until she's married. But she can do what she wants to do, and I want her to be as open as possible and, with her. And, and listen, listen, you can, on. and you can be in your daughter's life, and you don't, that doesn't mean you have to go to the doctor with her and and Why see not? if her hymen is intact. By, by the no, way, I'm saying that doesn't mean being in your daughter's life does not equal make sure her hymen's intact. And t- that does not mean I I'm in that, my daughter's I, life. I understand what y'all are saying when y'all say that. But those are just semantics. At the end of the day, all of us as fathers are trying to keep our daughters from having sex Until for as long married. as possible. Abs- absolutely. <laughs> right, that's just the truth to the matter. Absolutely. Like, you know, I, whether we're being overprotective about it or not. And I know eventually, I've said this on this radio several times. Yes, my daughter is going to have sex one day. You know why? Because I'm having sex with somebody's right. daughter. Envy, you had sex with somebody's daughter. We all married somebody's daughter. That is going to happen. Right. But if I can prevent her from doing that for as long as possible, I will absolutely try. And I'm not. And I would have been gonna, horrified if my father did that to me growing I'm, up. I'm I would have been horrified. I'm not going to sit here alive. But, you know, I took Gia's virginity. We've been married for 18 years, been together for 25 years. 
But if I felt like I think Gia broke your hymen, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just wanted to say. But if I took, (laughs) but if I thought there was a possibility that my daughter would be having sex, and that I know me going to the doctor with her would stop her, or 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 maybe make her not have sex. Yes, I would go. You said something. I would do it all the time. You said something so real just now. Yes, I would. We don't know the context to this, right? Right. Because at the time when he was doing this, she was like 16. How we know she wasn't. You know, running around with some little boy. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it, if it's I, something that made him that paranoid. But we're already naturally paranoid as fathers. But if I go to the doctor with my daughter every year and my daughter knows I go, that's going to encourage her not to have sex because she knows daddy going to be checking. And we're saying that she didn't have no control over her body, but uh, the doctor had to ask her to give the father permission, right? Yeah, that, I, wasn't, I, I, that wasn't real permission, though. <laughs> if I'm with you right there, you should also be able to have private conversations with your. You should also be able to have conversations with your gynecologist that is not going to be revealed because that's why you go to the doctor, right? There's some type of privacy there. Even when, when you're you go a minor? can have conversations, yeah, yeah and ask yeah. about anything. They don't release your records to anybody. Well, They're she, not supposed to do that. Well, that's a totally it, private thing. But if the doctor asked her and she said yes. Then what's the problem? Look, I didn't have no choice talking to the doctor without my parents there. And my daughter doesn't have a choice either. We all, we all at this doctor's appointment. I just think it's dangerous to me. tell young women that somebody else has control over what you do or don't do with your body. You have complete control over that. And if you decide that you I didn't want get that to from this conversation. No. I, I didn't lose get your that. virginity, I, then I, you can. And nobody should tell you that you can't. Nobody should be checking to see if you have or if you haven't. So you're telling me as a father. Right. I got three daughters. You tell me as a I father. I got three daughters. Because you just said we need to have the conversation about having uh, about birds and the bees with our daughters. Correct. I am supposed to encourage my daughter to have sex at 15 and 16 No, you're supposed to. You're supposed to encourage her. You're supposed to encourage her to be able to have conversations with you and be open and honest with you about whatever, so that you can have that uh, lines of communications open, so you guys can talk to each other, so she can come to you about anything. The conversation starts now. It shouldn't be like I'm scared to until you are married, okay? Because you're going to hell. If you have sex before marriage, I know your mom and daddy did it, but we didn't know any better. Right. Okay. And these right. ain't shit, Okay. So please keep your legs closed, baby girl. All right. Until you find somebody that really loves you and wants to be with you. All right. I'm sorry. That's my take on it as a father. I, I just, I just think he's scaring the ish out of her. If you know. Every year, I'm going to go to the gynecologist with you to check your hymen. You're not going to have sex. You're not. <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's and you really, also don't want to make, really you also don't want to make, you also don't want to make women feel ashamed about sex I'm in their bodies because that affects, I'm not, I'm that affects, see, 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 no, because he's, he's, he's using words to throw people off. You're saying women. She's I, 16, ye. At the time, she was 16. I just want my She's still a young woman. 16 is a young I woman. I don't want my 16-year-old daughter having sex. Even though I know the reality is she probably will, I don't want her to. You know why? You know why? Because I saw, I know how that affects you when you're young. I don't want and you also t- don't want her to be scared to come to you about it if it does happen. That's why you got to have a balance of divine, ma- of sacred masculine and divine feminine. Go to your mama with that. Because <laughs> your mama, your mama gonna know how to come to talk mama. to me about it. Because she's gonna tell me later on anyway. That's right. And then I know how to talk to your mama, and then your mama can relay the messages <laughs> to you. Okay. Because right, I know some- I'm not gonna handle this correctly yet. Because my divine feminine and sacred masculine have not balanced the way that they need to. I don't even know not what yet. divine feminine and masculine is, but all I know is I can't deal with it, man. Yes. Talk to your mama. Now let's open the phone lines. All for people. right. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one is the breakfast. Club, good morning. Divine masculine femininity and all that other ish. Hello, who's this? My name is Valerie. Hey, Valerie, what do you think about T.I. going to the gynecologist with his daughter to check her hymen? I think it's really gross. I think that he like wants to own his daughter's virginity, really. I think that he's got some masculinity issues with that. Listen, I do think that it needs to be a better balance between sacred masculine and divine feminine. That I do agree with. Uh, but I just cannot knock a father for being overprotective of his daughter because that's all he's really doing. He wants his daughter to be a virgin as long as possible, even though we know that's not the reality of the situation. Somebody is eventually going to trick your daughter into giving up some, okay? But I don't want that for as long as possible. I I mean, I I would say the same thing. I mean, if my daughter was around a boy and I thought that maybe she was getting a little too close with the boy and I wanted to encourage her not to have sex, that might be a scare tactic. I would rather have had, and I had this whole conversation yesterday. We had this own every piece discussion, which was all about sexuality and owning your body and owning yourself and having these open conversations. I think what really works best is when your parents can come to you and have these open conversations about sex and what it's all about and what happens. And if you make these decisions, here's what's going to happen. And come to me and talk to me about anything. This is part of the open conversation, all right? T.I. telling no, his daughter, really, I don't want you to have sex. That doesn't sound very open. It is open. Hello, who's this? Liza. Hey, what's up, Liza? Now we're talking about T.I. and him going to his gyne- going to the gynecologist with his daughter. What are your thoughts? 
Um, I think it's highly uh, inappropriate and disrespectful and a, kind of a violation. When I was 13, my mom kind of surprised me with a, a visit to the gynecologist. She didn't tell me where I was going or what I was going for. And when I got there, it was an extremely kind of scary situation. You know, I didn't know who this guy, I didn't even know what a gynecologist was at that point. Um, and I think, you know, Charlamagne mentioned like divine masculine, divine feminine. I think it's really about respecting a person's body and just guiding them through the process of life and just not being controlling. You know, especially right. for a dad, there's a different type of way to kind of guide your children through the topic of sex. And just, I mean, it's a natural process. So I think to control it is super, you know, it's definitely a violation. And, and you're right. And that's why, you. you know, when it comes to those divine feminine qualities, you know, it's, it's a lot of them. But, you know, nurturing, being gentle, emotional, and, and patience is what I think, you know, T.I. might have been lacking in this situation. Hello, who's this? Lisa. Hey, Lisa, what do you think about T.I. going to the gynecologist with his daughter and, and uh, making sure her hymen's intact? There's nothing wrong with it. I have three daughters. If their daddy would have went to the doctor with them a few times, it might have made my life a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, we we knock men for not being in their kids' lives, and then when you got a guy like T.I. who's being overprotective, we knocking him for that. Like, I, I didn't know you could, I didn't know as a daddy, I could, what if what if there is no wife in the in the life or no mom in the life, and I'm the dad, I got soul custody, I'm, I can't take my daughter to the gynecologist? What are we saying? Of course here? you can, but you're not. But I don't think you should make a, a a woman feel ashamed about sex. That's all. Like Man. it's a shameful thing. Yeah, whatever. I got three daughters. I'm definitely making my teen my daughters feel ashamed about sex when they teenagers. When they get older, it, actually, when they, it will actually it will actually affect them in relationships later in life, and a lot of women will tell you that when they turn 18, they can make their own decisions. But when they 15, 16, no, I don't want them having sex. 800-585-1051. Call us up. What are your thoughts? We're talking. Ti going to the gynecologist with his daughter at 16 and making sure her hymen was intact to make sure she wasn't having sex. So let's hear. Let's play a clip of the audio. We have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh. We'll sit down and the doctor will come and talk. And, you know, the doctor is maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. Then they come and say, okay, uh, I just want you to know there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Bike riding, other forms of athletic, physical activity. Is she an athlete? No. I say, look, dog. She's not. She don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bikes. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. So 800-585-1051. We're asking, what are your thoughts? Now, Steve and you know what? Demon. He doesn't. He doesn't do this with his sons, which is crazy. You, you only do this with your timing, daughters. You no, but you can ask them. You can. You can tell them. You can also tell them not to have sex. We know that a double standard exists. It just is what it is. I don't know what to and tell that's you. That's how people go out in the world and they start thinking that men have a different. Uh, they have more opportunities and other things that they can do that women can't do. And you're teaching them that at a young <laughs> what? age. Because it's sex? No. Listen, I wouldn't want my little sons, 15 and 16, having sex either. You know why? Because I don't want them to get some little girl pregnant because they ain't got no goddamn money. And guess who going to end up having to take care of that child? Me. So, yes, I would be telling my my son the same thing. You better, If you're out here doing what you're doing, you better wear condoms. And I'd be telling my daughter, hey, I don't want you to have sex, but if you're out here doing what you're doing, you better make sure these little boys are protecting, be protecting themselves because I ain't taking care of no other babies. Well, I'll have a conversation. Just don't have sex. How about that? I'm with that too, no, period. No, no, no nothing. There's no sex in this house. But you're not going to check her hymen, right? You're not going to have her hymen checked. That, that's I'm how y'all acting. I'm not going to check my daughter's hymen. Y'all acting no, like T.I. was checking his daughter's hymen on, on his own. That's how y'all acting with this situation. <laughs> no, he, Instead of having a productive conversation he's not. about patriarchy and divine... Feminine and sacred masculine. But, but he's a father and he can raise his kids the way that he wants and I'm not mad at it. I'm, yes. I, I wouldn't do the same, but I'm not, I'm not I wonder mad how at Deja feels about it. Hello, who's this? Hello. Hey, Tasha. Hi, yes. Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. How do hey, you feel Tasha. about T.I. checking his uh, daughter's hymen? Man, shut up. That's not what happened. <laughs> y'all, I'm not going to let y'all do that to my, my guy right, now. Right, let me rephrase That's that. not right. How do you feel about T.I. going to the gynecologist with his daughter to check the time and to make sure she wasn't uh, having sex? Because that's how rumors get started. By noon today, <laughs> it'll be T.I. checking his daughter's time. Nobody hymen. thinks that. I don't see a problem with it, honestly. Why? The reason why is because I think that it's beautiful that a father is actively involved in the conversation of his child's sex life. I think it's beautiful he's going to the doctor with his child. And I also think it's beautiful that he's instilling his own values within his own family. That's his child. I agree. So the right. fact that he is wanting to promote and to encourage his daughter to be a virgin, if you think about in society, what is virginity? Virginity is nothing. There's no value behind it. 
So the fact that he is doing that with his daughter, it's showing his daughter that he values virginity, he values her body, and that will then correlate to her to also value her body and value her virginity as well. And that's also, you think he like should I'm do saying, that? You think he should do that with his sons or only with his daughter? I do, but that's another conversation. So for this one, we're talking about his daughter, but I also feel like that should be a conversation with his son as well as with his daughter. I think it's a scare tactic because if I tell my daughter I'm coming with you every year. You're going to think about having sex. you be like, no, my dad's going to be there. He's going to know. So may- maybe I'll wait. And that's, that's, a better, that's how I feel. And that's a better that's scare I, tactic. Having your hymen intact does not mean that you're a virgin. We know that, but we know what he's trying to do. He's just trying to keep her. He's trying to keep her being a virgin. We know that. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hey, what's going on? What's hey, up? I agree with T.I. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, you guys. I agree with T.I. with that, man. I got an 11-year-old daughter. Uh, last week, I got a call. She said she got a boyfriend. Her brother snitched on her. She got her phone took in. That's why she hasn't been answering me. And uh, I kind of agree with him on that. Um, you know, my hairline went back an inch when I heard that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for the I've been looking for the Tiger Tory recipe online since then. I've been like, damn, what? Uh, Thank but, you, bro. Uh, yeah, you guys have a great morning, man. Have a good one, man. Have a great one. All right, Let's go to one more line. Hello, who's this? Yo, what's up? Envy, it's your boy, Melo. Melo, what's up, man? What you think about T.I. going to the gynecologist with his daughter and making sure her hymen was intact? That man is bugging. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, he has some serious control issues. And on top of that, there's too many factors to, like, determine if she's actually still a virgin. What if she messes with somebody who's not really that equipped and her hymen ain't real? Man, shut up, man. Goodbye, man. And, can't, and can't, what, man. If, what does virginity even mean? If you do oral sex, are you still a virgin? I don't want my daughter sucking no Either ye. <laughs> All of this is the same thing. I don't want this until Goodness she's old enough to make these own decisions, Goodness right? Gracious. Jesus. All right. Listen, this is the moral of the story. Goodness and the reality gracious. is every woman you love in your life is eventually going to have sex. Oral and otherwise, all right? There's nothing we can do about it. And yes, us as men, we are going to look extremely crazy being overprotective, trying to prevent our daughters from having sex. But that don't mean that we're not going to try. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to keep my daughters, you know, from having sex for as long as possible. I got three. Me too. All right? But I'm just telling you. But I'm you, doing both. My daughters and son. I don't want them to have sex they, until... I don't marriage. have no sons yet, but oh, yeah, you I, I'm just telling you we need balance, okay? We need balance between the sacred masculine and divine feminine. I encourage everybody to go out there and do your Googles and look up what sacred masculine and divine feminine is because you have masculine qualities and you have divine feminine qualities. And I think right now, T.I. is just lacking some of the divine feminine qualities like nurturing, being gentle, emotional, and, and, and probably patient. But I, I don't think he's wrong. I don't think he's wrong. All right. Up next is your rumors. You, you got rumors on the way? Yes, we'll talk about Whitney Houston. Her best friend Robin Crawford is opening up finally on their love affair that everyone kind of knew about. All right, and also next hour, Ask Ye. So if you want to get on the phone lines, if you need mm-hmm. relationship advice or any type of advice, call Ye right now, 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 